lovely rivers, clevai tawi taf and dee. But the finest and the fairest is the lovely Yavon Pui, rising high upon Plin Limon, bubbling neath the Cambrian sky. Through Llangerig and their Leda, till it hey she's called the Wai. Here the red kite soars above her, dippers dart and swallows fly. Silver princess of the borders, lovely laughing winsome Wai. Soon she glides through farm and woodland, fields of barley, wheat and rye. Bending southward through the marches, flows the broader stream of Wai. Bridges down to Rosten, through the gorge to Monmouth Town. First, the mighty bluff of Yatrock reaches up to touch the sky, and rapids guard the place where nations meet on either side. Torrents tumble free. Till mixing with brown severed tide, the queen of rivers meets the sea. Geographers believe that there was once a giant on top of the tallest mountain in Mid Wales. They created the myth of the three sisters of Plin Limon about the importance of three rivers, the River Wye, the Severn, and the Eastwood. Legend has it, there once was a sleeping giant who cried three tears, which trickled off his hands into puddles of water, which made three water spirits called Severn, Wye, and Eastwood. They grew and grew until one day their puddles were too small for them. Plin Lemon noticed that pools were drying out and so Plin Lemon set to work making the meat cloaks. He worked all day and all night until, they, until he fell into a heap carrying three bundled cloaks. The next day he gave each of them a cloak and asked which route they would take the sea. First, Issa, the most eager one, chose the fast route and zoomed down the mountain. Seven wanted to take the long route through the town, so she set off. Y was the last one and she decided to meander through the countryside before uniting with her sister Seven. And they all found each other and jumped into the sea. And one day, they will do their water cycle again. William Gilpin visited Ross on Wye in 1770. He was interested in the River Wye and painted it many times. He travelled by boat on the Wye, seeing many sights which he turned picturesque. A few years later, in 1782, he wrote the observation of the Wye. When he found Tintin Abbey, he described it as picturesque. On Friday the 10th of September we went to Tintin Abbey in Wales, a monastery that was, first, that was first described as picturesque by William Gilpin, founder of tourism in that area. By Tintin Abbey there is a river 
There is the River Wye, in which you can fish, read, take pictures, paddleboard and row on. This land has some mighty rivers, Severn, Thames and Trent, the Dye. Think the finest and the fairest is the lovely 